Hello and welcome to Monday Grub Bag. Monday Grub Bag. We missed one last week. Sorry we about that. We missed one. We got some comments that were like, you guys are okay? Yes. We're okay. We're just um, busy. Yeah. Um, but we're back and better than ever. Wow. Arguably better than ever. Better than ever? I don't know. We're really, we're busy. We are busy. Aren't it's, you stressed? It's like almost Christmas. I'm trying to maintain a positive mental attitude here. Okay, we're better than ever, everyone. <laughs> we're better than ever, and today we are talking about lots of fun things. First of which is about the progression of my disease. That's so fun. So, would you like me to ask the question? Using a positive mental <laughs> attitude. <laughs> yes, let's dive right into Monday Drive Bag. Hello, hello, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Question number one, has Shane's disease stopped progressing? And for background information, Shane has a progressive disability. However, he is on a treatment and has been for five years now. Two different treatments. Two different treatments, but he's been on a treatment for over five years now. So, and those are supposed to stop or slow the progression. Yeah, in the beginning, it was pretty unclear what that meant. Yeah. In real t in real life. It was a new concept. Like, I have always lived with the knowledge that I will get weaker as I get older. It will become more difficult to breathe, more difficult to hold my head up, more difficult to move my little arms. Um, and then when they promised with these new medications, the stopping or slowing of progression, it was like, well, it's already progressing slowly. Yeah. So what do you mean by that? Yeah. Um, but I am happy to report, compared to five years ago, I am stronger than I was. Yeah. Uh, so I think we can say my disease has stopped progressing. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah, I think like when you first got on treatment that first year, you got a lot, not a lot, I mean, but big changes you for you. You can say a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like, for example, Shane was really struggling to eat any, like, solid food. And in that first year, he was, like, all of a sudden able to eat pretty much, like, anything he wants to, you know, aside from, like, yeah. almonds. Like, almonds are really well, hard. almonds are just the worst food Shane in the Shane hates area. almonds. But, like, I could eat them so I'd never been able to eat before. Yeah. I was like, give me a, give me a big sandwich. <laughs> I'm going to bite into it and chew it. <laughs> So that all happened the first year, and then that's just sort of stayed the way it has for for four or five years since then. Yeah, and I'm we are intimately in tune with the level of strength. Yeah, I have like I analyze it on a daily basis. Yeah, really hard to see changes in a daily basis, but when I look back years ago, I am as strong or stronger. So yeah, nice. Yay. <laughs> All right. Uh, if someone recognizes you in public, is it okay to say hello to y'all? Yes, of course. But we can't guarantee no. that we will be normal. <laughs> we will be nice. We've said this before. We never know what to say. Yeah, it's probably going to be a little bit awkward because we're just going to be like, oh my God, like, thanks so much. You know, what's your name? Nice to meet you. So as long as you're not coming up, expect them the most ravishing conversation. Yeah that you've ever experienced. <laughs> You'll be fine. Then it'll be fine. Expect a nice hello, how are you? Yeah. A little chat and then... Yeah. That's about our limits. <laughs> and then we're like, I... We're out of things to say. And then we're just gonna be like, and what do you, <laughs> what do you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to know who takes care of your house plants. They look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I will let Hannah answer this, but I will say that of the four people living in this household, mm -hmm. I care for and care about the plants least of all. I, I physically, obviously, am yeah. not doing much. You're not doing much. And mentally, I cannot make myself <laughs> remember or care about watering plants. And that's your bonsai. A bonsai is suffering. No, because it's it because other people care for it. Well, the, yeah, you guys are saving it. Yeah. But if it were up to me, it would be dead. Yeah, Shane's not a plant person. I, I like plants. A lot of our plants, like we had a plant room in our old house, if you've been watching our videos for a while, 
it was a hideous, hideous room, but it was like where we kept all of our plants for the, the winter. The plant room and where our rats live. It was our office, our rat room, and our plant room, and it was literally like a nine by nine square foot room. And it smelled. <laughs> it smelled it bad. It didn't smell bad. The rats did smell. <laughs> um, most of these, like, one of those was from our house, but a lot of these came from my parents' house when we combined our households. So they pretty much, because they have so many, they have so many plants, they pretty much take care of all of them now. I would never said it's a tag team. You know, like yeah. your dad is probably the main one. My mom and my dad are pretty even. Maybe yeah. they're even, yeah. But I feel like your dad, the plant, I'm looking at a plant. I just realized I'm not looking at the camera. Oh yeah, there's like plants all Because I'm looking the at a plant and in my brain it was like, yeah, I'm talking about you, Claire. <laughs> but to all of you, it was we'll like, both why is Shane drifting off here? <laughs> anyway. Ooh, I, I feel like the phone. plants are your dad's hobby. Yeah. Your mom is a assistant in that hobby. Like yeah. she and she has them. her orchids, though. She takes care of her she orchids. She does have her orchids. That's very specific to her. So it's kind of... And you fill in when... We have our succulents. Oh. And so, like, my dad was watering our succulents, and I was like, please stop, because you're watering them with your calla lilies, which I'm looking at. It was just a whole thing. And I sit there, and every devil leaps... One of the three of them comes up to me and says, Shane, you need to remind us to water your bonsai. Yeah. And I say, oh, all right, I will, I will, I will. And then no. next we week. We don't say that anymore. It's, <laughs> it's, no, it's no longer Shane's bonsai. I've given up on my green thumb. It's growing beautifully, though. Green thumb? Green thumb. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, do you have separate bathrooms so you don't have to move the shower and toilet equipment every time one or the other uses it? Uh, or is it not a big hassle moving it out of the way? We do have separate bathrooms, not really because of that. Um, Shane can't fit in the shower that's in our bedroom. Like we have an ensuite in our room. Um, and Shane, Shane cannot fit in that shower. And there's when a I get wet, I swell up. Like, you know those just, dinosaur toys that you put in water and they get a lot bigger? It's just too small. The shower footprint is not big enough for his for him to lay in there. I have a little bath seat that I lay on if you've never seen that. Yeah, and then our tub, uh, you could fit in. However, there's no extendable, like we need a shower head. Um, so we could have installed that, but our office, which is like when we have a kid, it'll be our child's bedroom. Um, that has a tub with, an, with a shower head that comes down. So that's where Shane has his bath seat and it just stays in there all the time because no one else uses it. And it's convenient in that regard because we didn't have to remodel our bathroom. Yeah. But it's inconvenient in that it's across the hall yeah. from our bedroom. Yeah. And that means that when Hannah helps me shower, she undresses me in our bedroom yeah. on the bed. And then I carry and then him. And carries me naked to the other room and the other bathroom. And there is a five foot gap mm -hmm. where I am visible to <laughs> anyone in the house. No, so, luckily it's like pretty, people aren't usually, it's nice because we're, careful we're on it. opposite sides but, of the house from my parents. They're not usually over there. Yeah. So no one has ever seen Shane. It's not, but you know, we have to be like, anyone by we're the front door? Like, There's a butt coming through. Yeah. <laughs> and then we get into the office and Hannah's like, oh, I left the blinds open. Oh, you're yeah, sorry. visible to the road. Or the tripod's in the way because <laughs> it's our office. It's so in that regard, it's a little bit. You know, yeah, annoying, but we're very grateful that we have a spot where yeah. I fit easily. Yep, and I can sit on the toilet while I shower you. Yeah, nice it has little, a little seat for nice me. Nice little seat for you. Yep. <laughs> uh, I don't know what we're gonna do when we have kids, cause you're gonna have to vacate the bathroom. Maybe you'll go in our tub and we'll add on a handle or something. Or just wash it with the hose. Outside, that's good. I did a way of showering seldom enough, like. Yeah, we'll just wait till the summer. We can just drop that down to zero. <laughs> Throw me in the pool every once in a while. <laughs> All right, last question. What does Shane do when he has to sneeze? Does he announce that he has to sneeze and Hannah covers his mouth? That's a good question. That is. I don't. We've never gotten that before. We've never had that question. That's why I can't. Imagine it. if I was like. Uh, the, no, I'm trying to give you your elbow. My elbow? Yeah, sneeze into your elbow. Oh, I thought you were doing my hand. No, sneeze into my your hand, elbow. I can't get it down there. <laughs> It doesn't but go that high. It's to your head. I, no. I, I, I don't cover my mouth when I sneeze, but I don't projectile Shane, sneeze. This is so disturbing. Shane sneezes not out of his nose. 
He doesn't he in internal, but it doesn't come out. You right, don't yeah, it expel spray. any air. Oh, he goes. Funny story about that. I should imitate it perfectly. You want oh, to see it? Yeah. yeah. That. <laughs> That's his exact. Oh my god! You do your sneeze perfectly. I know. I can fake your sneeze. That's really, really impressive. That's Shane's sneeze. So nothing ever comes out. He like does it inside. Yeah, I don't really have the lung power to spray. Yeah. And it so it's pretty contained. It's like when you cough. Nothing's really. But I think they're wondering if you would put your hand over my mouth yeah. when I sneeze. Ew. I don't. <laughs> but funny I story. I have to go wash my hand. In college. I was sitting in the student union building one day, having my lunch uh -huh. or something, and I sneezed, and maybe I was under the weather because <laughs> I had a lot of snot in my nose, and I sneezed, and a long train of booger came out, and there was nothing I could do. Oh my like, god, are you no kidding? No one was around that I could... You couldn't reach it? No! At that time? Not until it dripped low enough that I was able to get my hand to it. So I had to sit there hoping that no one was looking at me with a giant video hanging down until I could grasp it and rip it out. So, if you're wondering why I didn't have too many friends. No, oh just, my uh, god, I'm actually dying at that. I'm kidding. Cause that, I feel like that's happened to everyone where you sneeze or laugh or something and a booger just like, you know, just yeah. drips out and you're like, yeah. oh my god, and you sniff it in. But I didn't sniff Were it. Were you sniffing it in? Oh, I tried <laughs> with all my might. But no, this one was too far gone and I did not grasp it. That is. <laughs> tried with all my might. That is really something. Out. Poor you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright everyone, that's Monday Grab Bag. That's Monday Grab Bag. If you have questions for us, put them in the comments below. Yeah. And we'll maybe pick one for next week's video. Yep. And have a good Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Yes, happy and holidays. A good Hanukkah. Happy holidays to all so. and to all a good night. And on Wednesday our podcast will be out. Yeah. So true. It's a good one. It is a good one, yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah. Alright. Bye everyone. <laughs>